Uh, you see that there? That there is, uh, well, they're calling it a rat hat. Um, I first saw it in, uh, on the campus of Kent State. Um, and it was called a dinky, I believe it was. And all freshmen had to wear one their first year as freshmen. And they couldn't take it off until after the first year. Here is another freshman skull cap. Uh, yeah. It's interesting here. I am in the uh, the Georgia Sports Hall of Fame here, and I'm not sure how to classify this post because I'm seeing here, I'm just in the college section now. Okay, this is Georgia Colleges, but I'm not sure how to classify this because, you know, the dogs just won the national championship. And you'd be hard-pressed to find a Nugga anywhere on campus down there. Having just come from Athens, there's no Ugga. And there's certainly no dinkies or skull caps or anything like that anywhere on campus. And it's sad, you know, that it's... I found this at Tennessee, too. You know, there's nothing there about any sort of tradition or history or past. And, uh, you know, I'm just loving this Georgia Sports Hall of Fame because it, you know, it covers a lot of the things that I remember. Um, but yes, of course, there's many things I don't, you know, but... Uh, you know, and it's it's nice to see that the tradition, like the traditions, are on display here. Because they're certainly no longer on the campuses of uh, uh, universities like Tennessee and, and Georgia. You know, and I'm not sure why, you know. Um, but it's nice to see them here. And uh, they have everything here from college to pros, and I am just going nuts here. Um, it's one of those things, oh, I didn't know he was from Georgia. Oh, I didn't know he had Georgia ties. And it covers all sports. And all things Georgia. Fantastic. Fantastic collection. Check it out if you have the chance here in Macon.